What's going on YouTube? Johnny J back at it again with another review slash reaction of another fan film. This is called Scream 5 Halloween official crossover fan film. So based solely on the title, I am assuming that they are going to take Scream and they're going to take Halloween. So what is it? Um, the Scream character, don't know his actual name. Do remember the mask, very, very iconic mask, especially if you guys watch the Scream films, or even if you watched, I think it was the first scary movie, which was a parody of Scream. If you watch that, you know the mask, and then also Halloween, so that is Michael Myers, the complete psychopath, and his mask is pretty iconic, and that character is actually pretty iconic um, within the whole horror film culture. So this should be interesting. This recently dropped, this dropped on Halloween. So I'm reviewing this a little bit late, but I'm still reviewing it. So I will definitely, definitely give my overall opinions of this, my overall thoughts, pros, cons, what I like, what I didn't like. If you didn't know, I like horror films. There was a point when like quarantine had just started. So a lot of places were closed down and I was just went on this binge. And I was just watching a lot of horror films on Hulu and Netflix. So this should be, you know, this should be good. Hopefully it's good. You know, I shouldn't say it should be good. I should say hopefully it should be good because I don't know what to expect. You just crossed over these two worlds and I don't know if there's anything that could kind of connect the two. You know, like how they did like Freddy versus Jason back in the day. You could kind of see those two you know, coming together. So, I don't know. Hopefully this should be good. But anyways, let's get into this right now. All Rise Films, big up CR. The, the iconic uh, Halloween mu uh, music in the background. All right, so this is all from Scream. These are all scenes from Scream. So it's, it's cool to see how they're borrowing certain pieces from these films and, you know, putting it in there and doing it in their own way. So it's, I'm, I'm just curious to see where they're going to go from this. Hopefully it's not a mess. And hopefully it's not where I'm like, oh, you know, the best scenes were pretty much taken from another film. So I don't know. Let's get back into it. Me. I must have dialed the wrong number. It's okay. It happens. Right? Definitely. See you later. See ya. Wait, why would she say see you later if they just called and it was established that it was the wrong number? Don't you just say, all right, bye, and you just hang up? Why would you say see you later? I don't know. Something I just, just I, I mean, you know, they should have, they should have just went over that part of the script and be like, wait, hold on, 
This doesn't make sense. But anyway, let's get back into it. Still there? Of course, babe. I would never leave you. Who called anyway? Just some guy. Wrong number. If he only knew. He Wrong was number, but you'll see him later. World. And I didn't get to tell him I'm dating the most handsome man in the universe, Mr. Casey Prescott. You don't want the guy to get too jealous now. <laughs> Are you on your way over or what? Yeah, I'll be over soon, I promise. I'll be waiting. See, me looking at it from, like, my perspective, if I was in that situation, I would just would have just hung up the phone. Like, if the moment you realize that it's the same guy who called you before and and it was, like, you know, it, it, it wasn't someone that you knew, I'd just hang up. Be like, all right, this person's obviously off or... They keep calling me, and I just don't want to talk to them for whatever reason, right? Just hang up. You know, the, the part is still in my head just throwing me off where she's dead ass said, I'll see you later. I don't know why it's still in my head. It's just like, ah, y'all messed up. Y'all messed up, you know? I don't know if that was said in the, the original Scream film series, but... You know, because I, I haven't seen them in a mad long time. So maybe, but that part still is just kind of like irking me, you know? Let's get back into it. The original was great. Was it? Then part two came around, and it was still fresh. Is that right? But part three and four kind of soured the franchise. Come on, you're not even on it. Wait, so now she's talking about the Scream franchise? So I'm assuming that this is happening in like the actual this isn't happening within like one of the universes so she's looking at it from like the perspective of like a viewer watching this because she's already establishing that screen one two three four f were all actual movies that she saw hmm interesting well, I'm only three minutes in. Let's see where they where they go with this. Little interested in part five. Why should I be? I don't know why it's giving me you parody vibes too. Because of Halloween. Cheap move. Did he do you? Everybody's entitled to one good scare. <sighs> Gotta go, Mister Whoever you are. Oh, that's too bad. We were just getting to know each other. Better luck next time. Because it was multiple of them, right? And one of them. Casey? You <laughs> that was a cute little jump scare. Come on, where are you? 
Wait, how did he get in the house? Because he's in the garage. Okay, so this is definitely from the... Okay, they're just borrowing scenes now. Because this is definitely from the movie, and it was the garage scene, and the girl gets caught in... Back into it. I was wondering where Michael Myers went. I was thinking the same thing. I think you know what happens next. What do you want? I want to get to know you, Vicky. I want to get to know the real you. Something. I want to get to know you. That was the Joe, the G Unit song from back in the day. I don't know why I just started singing that. Well, because. Back into this. He tells me you already do. <laughs> well, you're catching on. Maybe you are ready to play. Just so you know, I have a boyfriend, and he'll be here any minute. So you better quit it while you're ahead. Oh, so you do have a boyfriend? I should be scared, right? Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Now is this being is this saw? Oh well that's kinda dope. That scene right there, how he's just looks like he's just gonna come out the darkness, Michael Myers. But anyways, now is this saw? Like, I think he was asking him questions in yeah, he was asking him questions in screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm, interesting. They're just borrowing scenes. Borrowing scenes. But th this this whole scene is pretty funny. Scream, if you look at it from like a certain perspective is pretty hilarious, pretty funny. So for them to borrow those scenes and insert it in here is gonna by default add some some comedy to it. And I don't know when when the boyfriend was on the screen and he's just tied up. I don't I just I don't know. This just made me laugh a little bit. It just looked crazy. And then her her reaction is maybe maybe it's the acting. The acting isn't isn't all that. But anyways, let's get back into it. Jeez. 
I swear, if they made Michael Myers talk, I'm gonna be so upset. Huh? Wait, so the whole house wasn't locked up from the jump? Cause it wouldn't been it would be no point of her running all the way to an unlocked door. The whole house had to be locked up. The only part that was probably unlocked was the part where the boyfriend left out of. And that should have been like where she was walking towards Oh my god. Oh, and I hear the ice cream truck in the back. I'm still gonna be recording though. Why don't you just call the police? Why is she making all this noise? <laughs> Yo, she trash. <laughs> She she's gonna die. She has to die. He must have came in when he broke in. Oh wow, I just noticed the white girl trope. The the typical white girl falls trope. I just not realized that because I was like, wait, what did she? I thought she ran out the house. Now they show her on the floor. So I'm assuming she fell. I don't know how she fell. She just fell. So that's the white girl trope. The typical white girl trope. She just trips and falls. You have the opportunity to get up and go. He does not run. He does not sprint. He doesn't even jog. Just get up, go. And it's been established that this is a time period where there are actually cell phones. It's not like back in the day, you know? So just call the cops just call the cops said look it's a couple of scream guys here dead my boyfriend's dead I don't know coach let's get back into it Wait, what? Huh? Hold on, let me see if there's any more at the end of this. No, 
that looks like that's the end of this Scream 5 Halloween crossover uh, film. I thought it was going to be a bit more original. And I thought it was just going to borrow a couple of scenes from the Scream slash Halloween franchises and then throw it in with their own story, like the beginning with the popcorn being made and she's talking to her boyfriend. I thought that was going to, you know, certain things like that was just going to be borrowed, but ultimately it's going to be their own story. Pretty much felt like the entire story was taken from beginning to end um, and then just, you know, mixed in, but it was more leaning towards the scream aspect of it because I feel like with Halloween, the storyline it is it still is like mindless killing, but it's a little bit more in depth storyline than the scream ones because the scream ones is kind of like a little bit more all over the place when it comes to the different people being screamed versus Halloween where it's just Michael Myers and then you find out like the motives to him killing and his backstory and things like that which is why like Halloween has been you know had so many like remakes and you know additions to the actual franchise as opposed to like Scream where it's just like one through four so I thought there was gonna be more creative um, with this film. Uh, certain parts, because it was borrowing a lot from Scream, it was certain parts that were like hilarious that I was just laughing at. Um, and then of course, it's parts that just didn't make any sense. Uh, especially the end kind of just confused me where it's like he just disappeared. And then on top of that, you hear police sirens. So I was like, wait, how would the police show up if nobody called the police? And that's why I was like, uh, I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe, maybe you know, because he he did break out of the mental institution. Maybe the police are looking for Michael Myers, I and mean, it was like they got a tip, but that wasn't established in there. So I just gotta make it up with my own imagination. So, um, overall thoughts of this fan film crossover, meh, meh, you know, I nothing you know special um about this one i thought it was just going to be more creative but it really was you know to to most of it just copy and paste you know um and strangely it made michael myers to some extent the hero right he's pretty much the hero of this he saved the girl um all the screams got murked by michael myers I mean, I think it would be a little bit dope if he just, at the end where he, I guess, had disappeared, she would have got up and all of a sudden he pops up behind her and he kills her. I think that would have, that would add a little bit extra like, oh, whoa, he really is, you know, that guy. He wiped everybody out. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much my thoughts. I thought it was going to be a little bit more of an original storyline with just sprinkles of you know, scenes borrowed from it, but it wasn't, it was just the copy and paste, so I just say me, you know. These are my thoughts, overall thoughts. I probably might review more horror films. Um, it was a couple of them horror films that like, horror fan films that came out because Halloween just passed. So I might look at a couple of those, but if you guys have any specific ones, uh, fan films in general, just comment those down below and I'll check those out. Make sure I hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Got more videos on the way. Shawnee J, I'm out.